Hola, bienvenidos todos. Hi and welcome everyone. As you can see from our title screen, this Speech Bubble Languages Spanish Language Clinic is all about articles today. So, any excuse to talk about biscuits? <laughs> what are articles? Well, imagine a plate of cookies in front of you. There are peanut butter cookies, raisin cookies, gingerbread cookies, all sorts of different types of cookies, but there's only one double chocolate chip cookie. Our first lady here in our example is saying, pass me a cookie, please. Whereas our friend has her eye on the chocolate one. Give me the chocolate cookie. The word a is an article and the word the is an article. Let's take a look at them a little bit closely. Well, we're going to start with our lady on the right hand side who had her eye on that chocolate one. And she said, give me the chocolate cookie. The is known as a definite article. It's referring to that specific cookie, not just any old one that's on that plate, that chocolate chip one. In English, the definite article is simply the word the, and it doesn't change. However, in Spanish, there are four versions of the definite article, four words for the word the. Any guesses how they might be classified? Let's take a look. As I mentioned, there are four words in Spanish for the definite article, the. We have el. If the item you're referring to is a masculine noun, check our previous video for that if you need a recap. For example, the dog would be el perro. If, for example, the noun you're referring to is masculine, but there's more than one, therefore plural, the word for the that we choose is los. For example, the dogs would be los perros. If the noun that you're referring to is a feminine noun and there's just one, like the cookie or the biscuit, the words we would use for the would be la, the biscuit, la galleta. And similarly, there is a plural version of this definite article. If the word you're referring to is feminine, but this time plural, the word for the is las. For example, the biscuits, las galletas. El, la, los, las. All mean the. These are the four definite articles in Spanish. I wonder whether you can put that into action. Can you choose the correct definite article for each of these? The book, the table, the pen, the folder, the windows, the door, the weather, uh, the cups. If you're not sure of what those words actually are, the noun in Spanish, here they are along the side. You might want to pause the video here and try a few of these out. And try to recall how we can tell the gender of nouns. Again, you might want to look back at our previous video to help you out with that one if you need a reminder. So here we go. The book, el libro. The table, la mesa. The pen, el bolígrafo. The folder, la carpeta. The windows, las ventanas. The door, la puerta. The weather, el tiempo. And the cups, las tazas. El, las, los, and las, el, la, los, and las, all meaning the. Well done if you got full ocho puntos in that activity. So let's take a look at the other lady from our starter screen. She didn't say, pass me the chocolate chip cookie. She said, pass me a cookie. A is known as an indefinite article. It's referring really just to any cookie on the plate, not just one and not just that chocolate one that was there too. In English, the definite articles are a or an, if it's followed obviously by a vowel or silent consonant, or the word some, if referring to something plural. <laughs> any guesses how there may, many there might be in Spanish? That's right, of course, there's going to be four again, aren't there? So let's take a look at the indefinite articles in Spanish. The words for a, an, or some. If the noun you're referring to is masculine and singular, for example, 
our lovely dog example, we have the word un to use for an de indefinite article. A dog, un perro. If the noun you're referring to is feminine and singular, we have una, a biscuit, una galleta. And down below, we're going to look at the words for some. In other words, nouns that are in their plural format. For example, some dogs would be unos perros. And some, if it's feminine, unas. For example, some biscuits. Unas galletas. Un, una, unos, unas. A, an, some. And some. Let's see if you can put that into action again. Can you choose the correct indefinite article for each one of these? Will it be un, una, unos or unas? A banana, an orange, a beer, some chips, some ice creams, a sandwich, some drinks and some cakes. Once again, if you're unfamiliar with the nouns um, in Spanish for those items, here they are here. Remember to study the ending of those nouns to help you decide whether they're masculine, feminine, masculine plural or feminine plural. Again, you might want to pause the video here. So, a banana, un plátano. An orange, una naranja. A beer, una cerveza. Some chips, unas patatas fritas. Some ice creams, unos helados. A sandwich, un bocadillo, some drinks, unos refrescos, and some cakes, unas tartas. And again, bien hecho, if you got your full, ocho puntos there. So, a little summary for you. Articles in Spanish. Definite articles are the words for the. There are four of them. El, la, los, las. El, la, los, las all mean the. Indefinite articles are the words for a, an or some. Un, una, unos, unas. Un, una, unos, unas. A, an or some. Try to memorise that little pattern and keep your Spanish nice and accurate going forward with those lovely articles. As always, if you have any questions or want to check the activities that you've been done, didn't have already done, then please feel free to get in touch with your course leader and we are here to give you a hand going forward. Muchísimas gracias a todos y hasta la próxima.